Uh, okay. We got some, uh, we got some quick, some quick picks. Is that some what they're quick called? Picks? Rapid quick, quick picks? Rapid fires. Quick picks. Rapid, quick picks. Rapid, rapid fire. Quickies rapid with, fires. with Brondo. Brondo Alfondo All right, let's here. get in there with real, real dark, real quick. Clyde Reeves Nawuski says, or Nawuksi, asks, what's the saddest a video game has ever made you? Jared. Oh, uh, that might, that, <laughs> wow, I got frozen. Um, gone Home. Um, that was gonna be mine. I played Gone. Oh wow! I didn't. Yep. Uh, so I. No, no, no. I played Gone Home backwards by accident. You know the brilliance of that game. People don't give enough credit for the way the level design is. Um, you can approach that house from any angle. It, there's no scripting to force you to go one you way go or in another. The window? You, uh, you can go in a lot. No, I don't know if you can. Go you got to go through that porch. Once you're inside, you can go anywhere you want. Once you're you want, and there's a lot of different paths that interlock, and all those paths tell stories. We're picking up the stuff together. Yeah. So. I found the secret passage in the closet like a minute into the game by accident. So I took the house backwards from where they expect you to. Interesting. And what that meant was I'm down in the basement. And I found this book that this guy's so proud that he's written. It's like you stored do that away thing in the basement. Where, hold on, hold on. You do that thing again where you talk about a game and you just spoil the hell out of the game for anybody who maybe hasn't played it? No, but I'm going to spoil a tiny moment. And it's not well, going to spoil the game. Okay. okay. I, I, think that, I think this is fair. Is this too long a story? I can stop. Um... I don't know. Can you? Can uh, you I've got it just quick here. You find a book. <laughs> tell, yes. wrote it. tell us how much. The answer is yes. Dad wrote this book, and the book is good. Um, but you look inside, and it's a note from his father talking about how disappointed he is, wasting his right, life right, writing right. this crap. Whoa. And it says, "You can do better." At the bottom, "You can do better." His father writes that. Two hours later, when I've almost finished the game, and I get upstairs, and I walk into the dad's study, and I've gotten into this whole family through reading all the crap around their house, and I walk into his study, and it was like somebody punched me in the stomach. Like over his desk is a giant handwritten sign that says you can do better. And I realized that he'd written that, he'd gotten that note decades before. And wow. here's this man whose whole life has been dominated by that mm. one thought. That's awesome. And it's just it molded who he is. And I I teared up. I like I, I got sick a little. So that's that's mine. Gone home. That's great. Yeah, I agree. Max, do you have one? Um yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2. Really? Yeah. Uh, so Metal Gear Solid has always been like one of my just most – like I've been thinking about it a lot lately just because I love Phantom Pain so much. And I honestly feel like it is a culmination of every game I've wanted at different stages in my life. Like from <laughs> when I was in fifth grade and I was like checking uh, – you know, checking weird military books out of the library or when I was running around in my yard playing hide and seek, like, or when I was an adult and I was like, they really should cross Gundam with Kim Wilde. Um, <laughs> like, I'm – Metal Gear Solid 2 was a game – uh, it was a game I just I played with my best friend who we we bonded over games. He was my next door neighbor. Yep. Um, you know, just I think he I don't know if this is the show or not. Anyway, but he um, we played the game a lot together. We played that uh, that Metal Gear Solid 2 demo disc for an entire summer. Uh, this is when I lived in Connecticut, and it was I was uh, I just finished freshman year. Uh, we played that game backwards and forwards. We made smiley faces with the trank darts and the guards' faces. We made them hump each other. We <laughs> kicked doors off lockers. It all the stuff he did in that in that weird little tanker level thing. Uh, and then I moved out to California uh, in about August. And moving from from Connecticut, which is you know a state over from New York, uh, to California, which is sort of disconnected from that, is a, is a long a long big leap. And I was you can find to, footage of that in the first ten minutes of the hit film, The Karate Kid. Yeah, yeah, that's you true. You can you can learn all about that's that. That's true. Though. It was it was not it was not dissimilar. It was me and my mom in our the little compact car. We came across the country, and you guys both had uh, cool hair. We moved to shut up. <laughs> Did you meet a small Japanese man that taught you the ways of martial no, arts? No, 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 no. Um, we so we we moved to you know town in, in Did you dress as a shower for shut, Halloween. Shut up! <laughs> shut up! Um, <laughs> A week after I moved to uh, California, 9-11 happened. Oh, and now we feel bad is, for And the thing is, is living, in, living in Connecticut, like, uh, friends' parents went to work in New York. Like, yeah. it was right yeah. – it's right there. You're from Jersey. You get yeah. this, too. Like yeah, I was in New York it for was, it. Yeah. It's an immediate thing. Mm -hmm. In California, it was sort of like this thing on TV, you know? Yeah. It was this weird, distant thing. Um and meanwhile, I'm, you know, mid puberty and just everything's miserable because I'm the new kid and I'm I'm chubby and I'm from out of town and I don't understand what the hell anything is, and I'm looking forward to Metal Gear Solid 2. That's all I want. I don't even have a PS2, um, and I make friends with this kid Matt, and he's sort of like this. He's you know he's a, he's a friend who was in my in my homeroom class, and uh, I went to his house one time and like. He's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, oh, we should we should run a game or whatever. And I think I was more like, hey, can can we can I come over to your house and run a game? Like, and he'd like just bought his PS2, and he's like, mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, 
Metal Gear Solid 2. You got to play this game. And so we rent Metal Gear Solid 2, and we pop it in, and I think like, I think like, I don't even remember what it was that, that just hit me. I think there was some some boss fight or something, or we got in some stupid fight, like the way a couple teenagers will when they get together, and I just like, I just like broke down crying because it was like oh. this was a game that was like, it was what I did with my best friend, and I'm playing with this like I'm well, f I mean I'm I'm excited to play this cool game about Solid Snake and that's not Solid Snake and I want to play this game with my best friend and that's not my best friend this is like I mean it wasn't I wasn't mad that you were playing as Raiden it was just kind of this like everything came crashing down around this like playing this game i had been waiting for, for for like years you know wow. like when I went to summer camp I had um, I had that one issue of uh, PSM that had the uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 cover on it that was done by like um, uh, Joe Madera mm -hmm. um, and it was just like this badass picture of snake and that's what like, that's the magazine that reminded me i should like watch escape from new york like that was right. and i read that thing backwards and forwards like i should have been i should have been hiding in my bunk like reading a porno magazine because i was 14 or whatever but instead i was in the game was, or in no and in, 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 well i guess you can, you, do you can also do that you can go to the locker and, and kiss the kiss the posters yeah <laughs> real sexy game um but no like i was just obsessed with it and i was really excited about it and then it was like a lot of stuff cha was changing in my life at the same time and uh i don't know it just it i i I broke down like I was a mess and my friend was like uh are you okay and I'm like well no, no nothing is okay everything's kind of weird right now um you know and uh, the happy ending of that story is that, that the following summer my best friend flew out to stay with me he brought his PS2 and the first thing he did was his power through Metal Gear Solid 2 oh, okay that's awesome. that's great story. and we, that's uh, awesome. we made our, our file name um funky chimp sex so when we beat the game a little less golden because of that and snakes like who is this mysterious soldier? Who? What is his name? And he throws dog tags down in the you know, the halls the halls of liberty or whatever the hell it is. And he it's just this funky chimp sex. And we're just like, <laughs> yeah, buddy. So I don't know. Yeah, it's a all right special series, man. I don't even. I, I'm, I got a lot of more. I'm not even asking more questions because that's that's pretty much the yeah. peak right there. If you st if you still hate Max Goval after that, you're just you're statistically you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> or a snake eater fan. Yeah. One of the or other. Or a funky chimp sexer. <laughs> Man, thank you um, for that. Yeah, sure. That's yeah. Um, I, wow. I, one of these days I'll, I'll write something about how the, the phantom pain is just perfect and I don't know what to do after that.